Tonight, we're at the InSight Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards 2015. This year's entries have been bigger and better than ever, with over 2,700 entries from 60 countries. I'm Elizabeth Pearson from BBC Sky at Night magazine. Join me as we speak to the judges and the winners. Well, it's been really exciting for me, actually, because there's been a number of images that are really speaking to the history of art, to the history of photography, that are very unusual in feel. Uh, for instance, we have had our very first uh, solograph ever, a type of pinhole camera, which was submitted and which won a prize, and a very, very beautiful shot, so I was really excited about that. One which really stands out in my mind is the one where you've got the trail of light going up over the mountain and the star trails behind it with the, the tents there. I, I love that. It was a, just a beautiful way of painting with light, which is what photography is, of course. We have a spectacular shot of Sirius, uh, which looks like a kind of swirl of twinkling colours and, and it's revealing all, all the spectrum of colours of Sirius. That again is one of my favourite images. We had a seven-year-old who submitted an image taken from an iPad mini, which again, youngest winner ever, first time that we get something submitted from a tablet and a really, really beautiful image. There was an incredible shot I can remember seeing in the judging panel which was of the moon with earth shine. Now this shot was not a composite shot, it was a, as far as I'm aware, it was a shot showing the crescent of the moon plus the earth shine glowing away next to it, but in a single shot. That is really hard to do. It was clear and uh, I was at home, so I decided to make a photo. I captured the dark side of the moon and that was the first time. This is the result. Well, the winner is absolutely incredible. You get a sense of being there, here and now, with the astrophotographer. You can feel the call of Valbard, you can just admire the beautiful colours, the pristine snow. The beautiful serenity. It, it doesn't look that technical, but it was. It, to, to get it exactly right like that is just incredible. So when I, I learned that I won the competition, I was just mind-boggled. Other photographies were so fantastic. The day we saw the eclipse was the sunniest day of the whole trip there, with no clouds at all. We woke up about three hours before the, the eclipse began. I went out of the tent and saw bright blue sky. I almost screamed to every people there, just get up for the tents and see the sky. We went onto a small hill above our camp, which we had determined to be well oriented to see the eclipse. We went on this side the day before, to make sure we'd have a clear horizon with no huge mountain or anything to hide the sun. I climbed up a mountain really far, it was about 3 a.m. and I've been waiting all night for the aurora and it was supposed to come but it never came. And I was really disappointed so I started packing up my gear and uh, as I turned around suddenly the ground went green. I had no time to compose anything, I just shot from where I was. Uh, but luckily there was this beautiful soft snowy mountain in the way and it was a perfect shape for the image. My first attempt at astrophotography was actually following um, a family Christmas event with my cousin, the keen astronomer, and I happened to mention to him I'd like to have a go at doing astrophotography. And about two weeks later, he sent me an email saying that him and some of his friends go to the Elan Valley in Mid Wales um, for an astronomy event, and would I like to go? First attempt was a bit of a failure. Um, I tried the Milky Way, and the second attempt, a friend of mine had lent me a tracking device, which I used for the first time, and ended up with a picture of the Orion Nebula. And I just was blown away. I couldn't believe that the back of my camera had this picture on it that I'd actually taken. So there we have it for another year of the InSight Astronomy Photographer of the Year Awards. I hope you've been inspired and you can look for details on how to enter next year's competition in BBC Sky at Night magazine.